Okay. Here we go. Okay, Red Label, where you at? Where's uh, all the people that wanted to see Eric? Here he is. Yo, I just realized one of the funniest thing about the Miss Val video is that she was so serious. She was like, where's all the people that want to see Eric? Here he is. Here we go. <laughs> she was not playing. But what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Backup Channel. Uh, thank y'all for being here. I appreciate y'all. Um, I was just telling, I did a members live, and I was just telling my members uh, that I had my eyes dilated and stuff like that. So... I'm trying to, <clears throat> what's I'm gonna call it? See, uh, it's starting to get better. They said it takes up to six hours, but it's been way past six hours now. Um, I got my eyes dilated around 1.30, so um, it's still like really like, yeah, light sensitive, everything like that. Like that's why I was like, I shouldn't even have on my ring light right now, but I'm gonna make it do what it do. Uh, what's up, Sarnik? What's up, Angela? What's up, Sexy 60? Uh, what's up, Mary D? What's up, Miss Curiosity? Uh, what's up, Casey? How you doing? Uh, what's up, uh, Juanita? What's up, Nina? Thank y'all for being here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Shout out to everybody coming in the room. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Uh, what's up, Jelly? How you doing? Um, it gives me a migraine. To, uh, yeah. Um, luckily, I didn't get a migraine or anything like that, but whoa, like, my eyes were, like, so sensitive. I haven't had my eyes dilated in, like, hella long. I usually tell him no, but he kind of already started putting the drops in my eye, and I was kind of like, okay, well, I guess I'm gonna get them dilated. Uh, what's up, Maxi? What's up, Joyful? I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. All right, just like Casey said, let's go ahead and get into the mess. So, as you guys know, Jag had a court date. I have not talked to her. Um, we're not on speaking terms, so yeah, but I'm assuming that she took the plea deal. Now, for those of you who don't know, the plea deal was basically for her to go through the, uh, uh, the, uh, program. And that would be, that would mean like nothing would go on her record. Uh, she would just do those, uh, meet the certain requirements to make sure that she's competent and all that stuff and make sure that she's good. Uh, you know, as far as mental health and stuff like that. Diversion program. That's what it is. Ding, 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 ding. Diversion program. And, you know, it wouldn't go on a record and she'd be fine and she'll be able to, you know, see another day. But Jack swears, I want to go to court. I'm going to court. I'm going to fight this because I got so much evidence on the police and what they did to me. And then I'm going to sue them and blah, blah, blah. Listen, Jack. We all know that you love to sell a good story. and We all know that you want to sound self-righteous and that you're standing up for the people. However, your crazy ass need, need to go ahead and take that plea deal. So I, I, I can probably put about like, I'll say 82% on it that she took that plea deal. I do not think that lady <laughs> did not take that plea deal. I think she took the plea deal so she can avoid all this and she can go about her merry way. I don't see her public defender wanting to fight a case that has no evidence, has no nothing. But of course, and here's my thing, Jack don't even have to tell us that she took a plea deal. If anything, Jack can still say she's fighting it, but really took the plea deal. Don't forget, she's a known liar. But I highly doubt that she was all like, oh, no, I ain't going to take this deal and all this stuff. No, nah, take the deal, lady, take the deal. Um, I heard maybe mental hospital. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she needs to go to that nut. <laughs> yeah, I, I think she did the diversion program. And the thing about the diversion program is that she wouldn't have to go back and forth to Dallas. She'd be done going back and forth to court. 
Um, everything would be like a check in and stuff like that. Like, I can't see her actually wanting to fly back and forth to Dallas because, again, is BB Films going to be paying all them plane tickets for her to go back and forth to fight a case that she's not going to win? No. And then at the end of it, she could possibly end up going to jail. Yeah, no. <laughs> Yeah, she she is definitely, she took that plea deal. She took it. So with the plea deal, I think she did the right thing, honestly. What's up, Ariel? Ariel? Um, she, she did the right thing. Take the plea deal, live your life, stay on the straight and narrow, don't do nothing crazy, um, and just be normal. Just be a normal human being. Like, stop getting involved in bullshit and stuff like that, you know? Just chill. Just chill out. That's all you got to do is just chill out. Um, she's still hopping on 30 billion different panels and shit like that. Uh, you know, fighting, arguing. I did see a little piece of Kimmy's live. Um, that's how I know about the whole boxing thing. I remember you guys told me they supposed to be boxing. And I was like, yeah, they ain't going to be boxing. No, they're boxing. I was like, <laughs> y'all are crazy. I'm all like two old biddies fighting in a boxing ring. Like, how <laughs> are we are we serious about this? All I want to know is it free? Is it free? If it's free, I might go. I ain't gonna lie. I might go if it's free. But um, if we gotta pay, nah, I'll take a pass. I'll stay my ass at home. But um, yeah, I guess this is supposed to be a real thing, you know. They supposed to be boxing and doing all this. I mean, at least make your money from it. You know, make some good money. Like, I feel like if you're going to do this whole boxing thing, it has to be something that people want to see. Having Jag as the title or, like, the main thing, I think that's going to expose how far her reach is. And what I mean by that is that Jack feels that she's an A-lister. She is not an A-lister. She, she is not. And this is just me being real. No one is going, she's not going to be able to fill up a gym. Not at all. If she's thinking... Jaguar Wright put her name on like, you know, some kind of poster or flyer is going to sell out that gym. It's not. It's not like we got to like, I know you guys see like people in the chat, people talking about her and stuff like that. But I promise you, it, it's not going to go any further than on YouTube. Like, don't embarrass yourself. If they think they're going to make a profit off of this, they're not. Um, save your money. If you want to beat somebody up, beat them up. I mean, look at me. Like, I was supposed to be fighting somebody, and then I ended up breaking my ankle like a dummy, you know? So that's my thing. But don't waste your money. Like, who, because, like, who's sponsoring this? What gym? When is this supposed to be? Like, is there a natural, you know, referee? Because I heard a rumor, <laughs> a.k.a. one of my members, they told me Tokyo Tony was supposed to be the referee. <laughs> they said Tokyo Tony was supposed to be the referee. <laughs> Y'all just do and say anything, huh? Uh, you sponsor me, it's on, right? <laughs> now, if I get a free, you know, if I get a free ticket, you know, a plane ticket and stuff like that, I'll go. I'll go for a free plane ticket, but I ain't going, nah, I ain't doing all of that. But I'm not wasting my money, my money to go see that. And Jack feel like, just because Jack threw a couple of punches, Jack literally on her chair like, oh, like this is shit. Like, what is you doing, Jack? If you don't go, um, butter up your knees and, you know, fix your joints. Like, what the hell is wrong with you? Uh, what's up, Stacey? She said, 
<laughs> needs to be on the CIA. <laughs> like, I'm just like, what is going on? Like, this whole box is, it, it can't be real. It can't be serious. Like, I'm just waiting for them to be like, April Fools, we got you. I just don't think it's, like, do y'all think the boxing thing is really going to happen? Put a one in the chat. Y'all don't have to agree with me. Put a one in the chat. You feel like it's going to happen. Put a two, no. And we'll do a 30 second countdown real quick. I just want to address this here. No hate to the subscriber, but why would I have you blocked? Like, did you do something for me to block you? Like, I, I don't know. I don't know if we ever had an interaction before. Unless you somebody pretending to be somebody else, then that's a whole different story. But I don't, yeah, I don't know you to block you like that. Uh, everybody said too. Yeah, no one feels like this is going down. Uh, oh, we got one. Okay, Tina thing is going down. Okay, she thinks it's going to happen. She thinks it's going to happen. Um, yeah, y'all, it, it ain't gonna happen. I mean, if anything, somebody gonna end up injuring themselves during training, and then all of a sudden it's gonna get called off. But like I said, I don't see anybody paying for this. Like, would you buy a ticket? Because uh, what I'm saying is, like, if it's $3.99, I'll go. But are you guys going to literally spend your money, get a hotel and all this other stuff to see Jag and Kimmy fight? I I I'm just saying, y'all. Y'all y'all really going to spend your money? I'm just being honest. Um... Most people remember when I offered Jag uh, when she was with TJ, uh, two to three K for me to fly out to Dallas to throw hands. She cowered then. Oh, so Stacy said she was. So Stacy, you would pay to go. Uh, well, no, you would pay so you could put hands on her. Okay, okay, got you, got you, got you. Right. If it's streaming, you know, nah. Even if it was streaming, because. They charging $30 to stream they fight. I can't be paying for that shit. Somebody, listen, one person better pay for the pay-per-view, right? And then put it on their channel and then let us watch for free 99. You know, let's do that. But I'm not, hell nah. Hell to the nah. Ain't nobody paying for that shit. We don't want to see it that much. we rather have somebody take their phone out there and record it live, and then we'll just watch from home. That, that's what we'll do. Ain't nobody paying. I mean, how, how much y'all paying? How much y'all paying to see Jag and Kimmy fight? This is just me and be, being real. I'm just being honest, y'all. How much y'all paying to see them fight? I'm, I'm a free 99. Exactly. Ain't nobody paying to see them fight. Like, <laughs> we got to be real, y'all. I know y'all love to hate Jag and stuff like that, but are we really going to pay to see that? <laughs> we really paying to see it? Negative 250? Exactly. We we are not paying to see that bullshit. Two cents? Shit, I was at least going to give a dollar, but a lot of y'all said. <laughs> you know, like, I'm just being honest. Who, who is wasting their money to go watch that shit? I am not, no. Now, I will say this, because you need a, a, an actual name tied to this. Tokyo Tony is the referee. I think that might put some asses into a seat, but they need follow-up fights too, because here's the thing, we're just gonna watch Jag and Kimmy fight. They gonna hurt their brittle bones and shit like that. We just gonna, <laughs> we just gonna watch them fight and then that's it. Like, who else is on the card? Like, who else is there? That's what I'm wondering. Who else is there? Like, we got to see who else is boxing. 
And Tokyo, yo, they need to take Kimmy out and put Tokyo versus Jag. That's how you sell it. That's how you sell an event. Y'all are not going to make any money selling it off of Jag and, uh, and Kimmy. Yes, yes. We need Tokyo and Jag. I know they're friends, so yeah, but money is money. Put Tokyo versus Jaguar right. And it could be the battle of the truth tellers, aka liars. But battle of the truth tellers. That's how you sell them. Watch they steal my idea. Watch. Watch they steal my idea. I know Kimmy gonna be mad, but I mean Kimmy, you can be a part of the promotion and stuff like that, but nobody is going to if y'all trying to make money off of this, nobody wants to see you and Jack fight. No one wants to even see Jack fight. I mean, let's be honest. You put Tokyo Tony in there and tie it with a real celebrity, even though Tokyo Tony is more like D-list, but I mean, <laughs> Jack is definitely on the... <laughs> Wait, Elemental B, URS TV, WX, Y, and Z. She's, she's like on the Y list. I wouldn't put, I wouldn't put Jack Z list. I would at least put her on the Y list, you know, if anything. Oh, Red Label and Eric. Now, you know what? I'd be petty and see that fight. Red Label versus Eric. Red Label, Red Label. <laughs> Let's go ahead and play the commercial. Okay. Here we go. Okay, Red Label, where you at? Where is uh, all the people that wanted to see Eric? Here he is. So Red Label, come on. He's waiting for you. You your, your name says Red Label waiting on Eric. So here he is. So pop up, roll up, do whatever it is you're going to do to Eric since you're waiting on him. He's sitting right here waiting on you. What you got? On your chat, on your on your uh, comments, you said you was going to pew, pew, pew him if he showed up in Minnesota. So he didn't get to Minnesota. So what you got? <laughs> you know what, Stacey? I was just thinking that, too. Can they actually be fighting? But that's probably why they're doing it in a boxing ring, because that's something sanctioned and, you know, stuff like that. So that's probably why they're doing it in a boxing ring. That makes more sense now that I think about it. Because I was like, if y'all want to fight, just fight. Like, I don't get this, oh, we need to do it in a boxing ring and all this stuff. Just fight. But if they both have records, I can see that, you know. Um, yeah. Ooh, that's some shit right there. But like I said, ain't nobody, like, it's entertaining for us on YouTube, but if they try to put asses in the seat and actually make money off of this, nobody's going to, yeah, no. Like, no gym is going to be like, oh, we got Kimmy and Jaguar Wright boxing. Nobody's going to give a damn about that. No one. No one is going to care. That's pointless. I'm telling you. Um, so anyway, for those of y'all just coming in the room, I did, uh, say, or did I tell you guys about the, um, maybe I didn't, I, I just kind of got sidetracked with the whole boxing thing, but I believe that Jag took the plea deal. I don't think that she is actually going to try to fight a case. Remember, she has a public defender and they're not going to tell her, tell her, oh yeah, I can win this case for you. No, nah, hell no, not at all. Right. Oh, I see somebody say Tasha and Jag. That might put asses in the seat. I, I would say that. Um, but anyway, uh, I think she took the plea deal. And the reason why is because what she was talking about was, oh, if I have to, if I, if I take the plea deal, I have to do the diversion program and they'll know that I'm crazy and blah, blah, blah. Well, and, and her words uh, won't mean anything. You know, people will be all like, oh, well, you said that you were crazy, so we don't believe anything that you say. And I'm thinking like, Jag, we already don't believe anything you say. We already know that you're crazy. We already know that you're mental. Like, we, you, uh, everything that you say is pretty much invalid. Like, uh, it's not going to change our interpretation. Like, take that plea deal. Be happy with that plea deal, right? Move on with your life. 
You said it doesn't have to go on your record. You don't have to worry about, you know, flying back and forth to Dallas and all that stuff. Move on with your life. Do your therapy because you should be doing that anyway. And 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 this is not even me being shady. I think we all need to do some therapy, right? I get it. Remember I tell, told you guys about that? Um, do your therapy, you know, check in once a week with, you know, your people and stuff like that. It doesn't go on your record. You get to move on with your life. Why would you want to fight a case that you're not going to win? You saying that you have evidence on your phone and they won't give you back. Your... Listen, you don't have no goddamn evidence on your phone. I'm sorry. Y'all, there's no evidence on her phone. Whatever evidence she's talking about is bullshit. Jag always got something in the works and something going on, but don't got shit. We have never seen Jag actually complete something. Have we ever seen her complete something? No. But a real businesswoman by the name of Brandy did complete something called Inspired by Candle Company. Make sure you guys check them out. I went ahead and pinned the link on top. And then make sure you use my promo code AT210 for your 10% off, as well as if you spend over $35, you get free shipping and handling. So don't forget that. And I'm telling you, it smells so good, you guys. I'm not lying. Like, I literally just leave the top open and not even burn the candle. And just, it. my room smells so good. All the rooms in the house smell good because I've been putting these candles all around. You know, I got the cocoa butter one, too. Um, are you guys ah, see how I did that jelly? <laughs> you see how I plugged that in? Is this the real Jaguar, right? You guys, can y'all check? I don't think you're ready for this jelly. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. That's what I think every time I see jelly. I don't think you're ready for this. It is her. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> are we are we doing this tonight? Okay. Are we gonna be nice, Jag, or are you trying to fight? Either either way. I hope you did take that plea deal. Your ass is crazy, so you don't need to, you don't need to fight and say, no, I ain't crazy. I'm a I'ma do this. No, no. I know you took that plea deal, but I'm gonna let you come up here and lie to the people. Hold on. Let me drop drop that link for you. Don't drop that thump da da. Don't drop that thump da da. Yo, I remember that song. Like that came out in like my early 20s. Oh man. We used to go to uh Livermore. Um why am I telling y'all my business? Let me not, yeah. I ain't gonna tell y'all my goddamn business. Screw that. Y'all, stop talking about that lady. That's one thing I don't want to talk about is that lady vagina. But I do want to talk about her dingleberries. <laughs> I do want to talk about the dingleberries, though. Because, I, you know, I'm honestly on Jack's side with the dingleberry thing. Because I didn't even get to the dingleberries yet. Um, let's go ahead and talk about it real quick because I don't see her in the back. Um, so the dingleberries, right? It's funny because I, so I guess Sip said she had some dingleberries and you know, he got a whiff of it or whatever, or he's seen the dingleberries. Here's my thing. If a, if a woman smells bad and you see doo-doo, right? Why would you still proceed to have sex with her? That makes no sense at all. That I'm all like, that's almost as the same as TJ saying she put the Dollar Tree paper bag over it. Like, I'm not going to f you if you got dingleberries hanging out your booty. And then, you know, because the wind and everything, like, it just don't make any sense, y'all. Like, that's one thing I'm all like, Jack, I'm like, they lying about that. Like, it's disrespectful. Oh, here's Jag. Hello, Jag. How you doing? I'm well. Good. Uh, how was court today? Is Ayasha here yet? Uh, I don't see her in the chat. Is she coming up or she she's just going to be in the chat? No, I'll be waiting for her to get here. I just oh. find it interesting that you're busy sitting here speaking about my life, details about my life and choices and decisions that I've made. Mm-hmm. 
really, what court was I in other than this pool? So are you saying you didn't go to court? There, there is no court. Court happened last week while I was in Dallas. Are you people retarded? Well, I was in Dallas yeah, last week. Just, I went to court so last did week. you take the plea deal? Well, clearly not if I'm sitting in the pool in Vegas. Well, you could have took the plea deal and then just no, but said... See, you put in your channel, you put on the title that uh -huh. I did, and I didn't, which was total clickbait. And then you got here and made assumptions about my so life. So you're not going to take the plea life. deal? And then you want to sit there and you want to talk all of this craziness? I don't oh, think it's so crazy. I told you you should take the plea deal so you can move you're on with insane, your life. you Andre Turner Jr. You're insane. No, it's the second. It's the second Jaguar who's that right? No, you're insane. It's the second. It says Anybody it on my birth certificate. It's the not. second. Because Anybody my parents knew I was going to be a fucking king. So they named Anybody me the second. Anybody who would fuck the not is insane. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Say that again. You know what you did with the not? Enlighten me. What did I do? Oh, you know what you did with the Wait, wait, but wasn't this your friend? You was just over there talking mm -hmm. shit. No, but mind you, Jag, this is how you play. You fake as fuck. Because didn't you go, didn't you tell me, oh, the knot's gonna go, not gonna go away. He's gonna be around forever, blah, 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 blah. Yes. And you said he's a psycho and all this stuff. But he you were just trying to work with him just yesterday, right? Yeah, why, why, why can't I work with a psychopath? You said you wouldn't work with a psychopath. Why can't I? Oh, no, I find you, you want to work with a psychopath, but you was trying to warn me to be careful with that psychopath. He but now talented. all of a sudden you want to work with him. He is talented, he is resourceful, and clearly he was good enough for you to fuck in the backseat of a car. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I kind of even don't even want to clear that up. I, I don't even want to... <laughs> I think Sip's not going to want to fight Donat in our fight that you're sitting here trying to rally against. Would you care to come and fight no. Donat in his place? Oh, I don't mind that. Okay. Is there money on the table? Because Absolutely. here's my thing, all Jack. To, I'm not going to make any you, money. You and Timmy. You, to, you need to replace you, Timmy with Tokyo Tony. All you, have to, all you have to do is call BB Films, speak with our office manager, Roxy, and let her know you're interested in being on one of the other parts of the card. Oh, okay. Yeah, the whole event is insured. Uh, but when, but the money, the money. Well, that's something you'll have to discuss with Roxy and she'll let you know the particulars. I'm not going to discuss that on panel. It's not for me to discuss. This is a okay. Baby Films and Profits Plus event. John will be so, making so the necessary how many tickets have been sold? We haven't even started selling any tickets yet because we're trying to get the card together. But we're Jack, you to need a together. name to that card. This is me we're talking to, business. You need a me. name tied to that listen card. Listen to me, Andre. We're trying to put together six fights for the night, total. Okay. Is there a name tied to it? I can't say, but what I can say is my trainer is a professional boxer and he's fucking amazing. Okay. So, do you think you're gonna whoop Kimmy's ass? Absolutely. Okay. You're not worried about her, At you all. know, getting cheap shots in or nothing like that? Do you that? not see me in the pool stretching after training? I, I wasn't sitting on YouTube all day, running my mouth, telling bad jokes and lying on people that were nothing but decent to me and making up stories about people's hygiene for absolutely no reason because you want to cover the fact that you're a pseudo rapist. Like, you know, I, I just, I don't understand these people. I don't. Wait, wait, wait. Who yes. was that about? About him, you know, I'm just sick and tired of him lying. And this whole Dingleberry story oh. is just too far. <laughs> I don't believe it's the Dingleberries. Far. We said that. It, no, I don't no, no, believe no, 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 no. But he's turning into TJ too. Okay, he's a mini TJ. He's panel for panel for panel. They're collecting cash apps. Um, mm. You know, I don't, I don't understand this guy. But you know, we were trying to keep it real quiet, and they keep telling this story about the scissors and all of that and the truth is is the night with the scissors that he's talking about cat and sassy girl were both on the phone kiapra was yelling and hollering and screaming at me about being on youtube because i told him mm. that i needed to go live because me and kai had had a live set up he grabbed me he became very aggressive 
The phone dropped. I grabbed the scissors. I told him if he fucking touched me again, I was going to stab him. Oh, I thought you were going to stab yourself because no. he was going to kick you up no. the house. No, that's let what me sassy let um, girl, Ayasta up too. That's what she sassy was. girl and Tamari said to cover for him because they know he's violent. Peace See, what Jack. a lot of people, I ate peace, Ayasta. What a lot of people don't know about Dirk Diggler is that he <laughs> suffered from a very, very, very bad brain injury. He had over 150 stitches in his head and it started out with staples. Someone tried to take his head off before. He is. Oh, wait, do we know this to be true, or is this yes, one I know, your I know, I know this to be. I know this to be true because I touched his head and greased his scalp every night. And when he has severe cranial fucking migraines, I was the one there massaging him, rubbing him, make sure he had the like. I took such good care of this fucking dick. Shit. Does anybody know but, if that story is true, you guys? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I'm. I've, I've been here the whole time. I'm her mod, so we speak on a daily. Period. But did Sip tell you that, Ayasha? Yes. Ayasha was present for most of our online relationship. <laughs> we were on... And it Why did I have to answer that? Not just, not sorry, just please, there, Ayasha. but as far as in person, too. I was there, too, to see all the arguments and stuff that they had. And I didn't know it was like that because I was always looking behind scenes like y'all, you know? Mm. Until I got there in person with her and seen for myself some things. Wait, wait, wait. So did you see, so you were there with her and Sip or just? No, not I, I in Chicago. was with me. Sip was on the phone. Not in Chicago. We're talking about when I first, not the first time I met Jack, but the second time I met Jack. Okay. Now, now you're, you, what question are you referring to? What do you want to know? What? Uh, about the head injury or whatever. So you know about that. Okay, Jack, can you repeat that again? Because my children are back and forth, and I'm not trying to be disrespectful and have on your platform. When, so Kiapa was, when Kiapa was telling us about his issues and, and why he had to leave the South and how he had gotten into a fight and somebody had hit him in the head and he had to injure someone and how he never wanted to go back to Mississippi. Sip had a in lot of Chicago, stories. Ended up in Chicago at a halfway house. Yeah, after months. his cousin left him there for dead. Yeah. Mm. Kiapa is very, very, very troubled. What they're doing to him is wrong. He suffers from brain damage. He has severe cranial migraines. And he's extremely violent. And when he snaps, he snaps. Jack, Jack you can't say that he was violent because was he ever no, violent? No, he was violent. You? No, he was violent. He was emotionally violent. He was You said y'all have rough sex, so I don't yeah, consider yeah, that. Yeah, because that's the only way he will have sex and guess what sometimes he pushes the limits like the night he nearly crushed my larynx choking me from behind like i said he's a sexual sadist and the truth is there are a lot of blurred lines about a lot of what happened between us and as i look over the footage of all we've done together you how know, many the tapes are thing. there i have 15. <laughs> y'all made 15 tapes yes so I filmed you allegedly I, had dingleberries, but y'all make 15 tapes. Yeah, like I said, he's the new TJ. I have a question for you, though, A2, AC2. Um, yeah. For the other content creators, because as everyone knows, yes, my channel was terminated due to the trolls. Terminated. Oh, I thought Jack channel was terminated. Yours got terminated, too? It oh, is. Yeah. A false Damn. There's a false okay, going. I'm sorry. No, they're all false copy strikes. Yeah, the same person that struck the night struck us, and it tracked all the way back to Danny Robertson. She oh. lied on the paperwork like she always does, mm -hmm. and she's running scared. And guess what, bitch? We're challenging them. But I would like to you're say you're gonna have to come to court. I would like to say also, if everybody wants Jag to go away, which she will never do, mm -hmm. why do y'all keep talking about her? Why do y'all keep having her name in the title? I agree with that. I think for me, and I'll tell you guys now. I was under the impression that Jag went to court today, and I was talking about how I mean, everybody was. That she took the plea deal. Everybody was, but if y'all listening, y'all will hear her say she don't have to be there. And Kiapa knew that because he was on the phone so they, conference they with told my you attorney. was in Dallas today. No, no, she no. She was in Dallas a week or so ago, a few days. I was ago. in Dallas last week. But this is not the this is not the first court date that y'all look for. Every last court date that she had, y'all look for, y'all sit, y'all wait, and y'all ready to see her go They're under. They're all wrong. Not going under because 
Mm. Everything that she went through last year to get these cases put upon her, she ain't do nothing. Whether y'all see it like that or not, she ain't do nothing. So she's going to beat every one of them. Oh, so you think she's going to beat the cases? I no, know. It's she, not a thought. It's a, it's a no. no. Wait, no. But Jack, you always like say you it. have evidence, but what evidence do you have? You don't Once have to again, show you everything. I don't she have to discuss my case about. with you. <laughs> okay, but you you honestly think you're going to beat the charges? I already know I am. All my charges are going to be dismissed. Jack, they wouldn't that dare video. embarrass themselves. They wouldn't dare embarrass themselves after I have now found evidence that they accepted money from YouTube to work in collusion oh, and give people information. Oh no, it's true. Jack, stop no, it's this true. Crazy shit. I no, want it's you true. to be the best you can. No, 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 you, you, no, 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 you want me, you want me to be your content so you can continue to keep making money off of me. I'm right. sorry you don't like the content that I'm giving you, but the only content you're getting is the truth. And the truth is Danny Robertson set up that swatting. We are on her ass. And every last one of you that participated in it here on the YouTube will be charged. And but calling the... Ayasha's no, and calling Ayasha's kids' school, and calling in a bomb threat so they could lock down the school and terrify all the children. I'm sorry, Danielle Elizabeth Allen. I think you just went too far. Now I don't believe in that, but mm. I did not hear about. You don't believe in that. School. You know, you don't Ayasha, have to go ahead and explain. You don't, you don't have, have to believe it. It happy to. Too. Listen to me, I got to wait one second. He don't got to believe it because he right. believes lying ass, cunt ass bitches like fake ass Patrice Garner. You lost. You lost. You chose wrong, kid. And now you lost your friend. I'm gone. No, Good you were luck. never my make friend because you were trying to line me content. up. No, I wasn't. Patrice lied to you to make you come after me. Listen, Patrice could have been lying, lied but Jack, you, yeah, you make so many lies. lies. I know. And look I at know. Know. Lies, they call live. They call. They call. The trolls call. Look, okay, they so lie. the trolls called. So were they able to trace back the... Because I got bomb threats at my school all the time. You know what? They're going to deal with that. And when they find out, they'll deal with that accordingly, however they do. But as far as anything... I'm not finna sit up here and ask no questions, so I'm out too. And you have a great day. But like well, I why said, you come um, up and get your weird ass up out of here, ho. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I was like concerned and I was gonna have a conversation with her, you know, because I felt like it was wrong, you know, that allegedly listen people call it bomb threats all the time like in school and stuff like that how can you like trade that oh we're gonna find out and all that <sighs> yeah yeah now i see why y'all don't like ayasha i've never had an issue with her i've always been respectful to her but okay i guess it's f you too they came up to make a moment and all right all right good job good job y'all came up and made a moment thank you See, the old me, I would just let them ramble and all that stuff, but I was all like, no, take that plea deal. Like, you need to take it. That shit is crazy, y'all. Like, really? <laughs> and she said, oh, we don't have to share the evidence with you. Like, what? Huh? You don't have to share? Oh, okay, no, you have no evidence. That's That's what I was saying. Like, you had no evidence. Like, I don't understand, like, oh, yeah, we have the evidence. We No, you have no fucking evidence. There is no evidence at all. And like I said, Patrice could be lying to me, but knowing how you make moves and you try to play games and stuff like that, it wouldn't shock me either. You would do something like that. I don't, I like I said, I can't say for a fact she was trying to line me up. I... I've seen things with Patrice that have shocked me, and I didn't know that was in her character. So I really don't know whether or not she was trying to line me up or not. But it is what it is. Um, thank you for becoming a member again, Miss Joan. I appreciate that. Shout out to you. And I loved your little boxing video that you did too, by the way. But yeah, that, that, yeah, yeah oh, God. <laughs> I knew something told me like 82 they're gonna come up here 
and do some bullshit, and then they're going to bounce out and leave. I knew it. And she's all like, I'm in the pool. I'm here stretching. I was all like, stretching? She didn't look like she was stretching in the pool to me, but hey, whatever. <laughs> whatever she want to say. And then she's talking about, she's like, you fucked up in the backseat. <laughs> By the way, that did not happen, but I was like, I was like, wasn't that just your friend you was trying to work with that psycho? Warn me and everything. Don't mess with that psycho, blah, blah, blah. He's this, he's that. And then you over there working with the psycho. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then she's like, why can't I work with the psycho? Jag don't even, listen, here's the thing about Jag. Jag don't even know what she be saying. Jag just literally talk just to talk. She'll say a whole bunch of shit. That's why I was all like, yeah, I can believe that people are saying shit like this because you always talking out the side of your ass. Not the side of your mouth, the side of your ass with the dingleberries in it. And you just say random shit all the fucking time. And it makes no sense at all. And you ramble about everybody, but then we'll turn around and try to be their friend. Yeah, I know how you get down. You fake as hell. Like, we know this. Uh, for getting exposed for your <laughs> Y'all stupid. I can't stand y'all. Thank you. I appreciate the super chat. <laughs> Oh my god. And I never really watched Ayasha's channel either because I don't think she's really she really has talent, so I never really watched it before. Um now hearing the way she talks and just she has nothing to offer. Yeah, there's no point in watching her channel. Because I always wondered this, like, how come the Jag disciples, the Jag the uh the Jagettes? How come the Jack X channels never like blossom? Like everybody else is able to get clout off of Jag except the Jack X. And they literally have this woman on their channel 24 seven. How do you have this woman on your channel 24 seven and you can't build your channel or get any clout? That shit never has made sense to me. Like now, but now I get it. When Ayasha came up here she sounded, she literally repeated everything Jack said. She said, because at first she was saying she was there when Sip got his head busted and, you know, told her the story and all this. And then it was all like, well, I was on the phone. So you weren't there then, right? And like, I don't even like Sip, but like, my thing was like, I'm not going to say that story is true. And I don't even know that. Like, that's disrespectful. And at the end of the day, that really has nothing to do with nothing. If you felt like that was your way of getting your lick back on him, okay, fine. But ain't nobody believed that whole story. That's why I was all like, y'all, is that story true? Can y'all tell me? And then she's like, oh, 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 oh I, I, I know it's true. Because I rubbed, uh, she, what she say? She, uh, <laughs> she rubbed baby oil on his head every day or some shit like that. And she rubbed Preparation H on his head or some stupid shit like that. I don't know. She said she rubbed something in his scalp. Oh, greased his scalp. That's what she said. <laughs> That's what she exactly said. She said she greased his scalp. That's how she knew he got his head busted and all that. Like, I'm like, oh, my God. Like, this, this woman just be coming up with anything. Anything just come out her mouth. And, oh, and so, okay, so... This is what she probably wants me to say. Jag, I apologize. You did not take a plea deal. You are going to fight all these charges and you are going to win. <laughs> she, y'all, she, I don't care what she tell y'all. She's taking that plea deal. She's taking that plea deal. There is no way in hell she's not taking that plea deal. She's, she's taking it. Trust me. She knows she ain't got no case, no evidence, no this, no that. And she's talking about the swatting thing. Like, what I was trying to tell her was that the swatting was different from the... Remember when she went up in the police station and she was looking for Officer Ramirez? That's 
what her case is about, and then as well as a few other things. But it has nothing to do with that squatting thing. See how she tries to fool people and trick them? That was all a move. That was a play right there. Excuse me. Let me just regurgitate some bullshit and t talk to y'all about the squatting. That has nothing to do with her case right now. Because remember, the swatting happened after, you know, she was already uh, bailed out and stuff like that. So why would that be a part of that? And then she said, yeah, and they were working with YouTube and all this other stuff. Like, lady, you're so fucking delusional. You don't even know what you're talking about. That That's a whole separate situation that happened. You know? Uh, she was in Texas. You mean right now or last week? Called this panda. Yes, Miss V. Okay, let me go to Miss V comment. Hold on. I believe the Dingleberry story. Oh my God. The Dingleberries are stuck. Okay, okay. Another Dingleberries. Y'all gonna make me throw up. <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> Hey, how are you? Thank you for coming. Okay, I was just trying to catch up to some of y'all. I think some of y'all are talking to each other, but I was all like, damn, what are they talking about? <laughs> the Rock Nation Deluxe Hotel. <laughs> um, I, I personally don't. You hear me all the time say I don't care about it at all. Now, do I think it's funny? Do I get a good laugh off of it? Yeah, I get a good laugh. Yeah. Uh, I, I crack up off of it, but I really don't, yeah, I, I, I don't care about it. I honestly don't. She can give her uh, her pustoise, her uh, poo nanny to anybody that she wants to. I honestly don't care. Hey, do what you want to do. If that's how she gets her life, then that that's how she does it. Um, you didn't let me... <laughs> No, I know a lot of y'all were saying drop the link. Drop. No, I, I didn't want all that craziness. I was all like, because then it's going to get sidetracked and all that. Yeah, I was all like, I, I don't want that. <laughs> Sip looking bump. Oh, oh, I don't know if he licked any bumps. That was TJ who licked, licked the bumps. That was TJ. Oh, some of y'all not a fan of him. Okay, okay. I just read Libra comment. I don't want to put it up, though. <laughs> I feel like you, Ayasha. I feel like Ayasha said she was dropping down, but I feel like you are her. It seems like you got a problem. But you can say whatever, just, you know, be respectful in the chat. Don't say nothing too wild, you know. Oh, it's Ka. Oh. Or BB Phil. <laughs> but, you know, it's funny because I was trying to tell her. I was all like, you need a big name tied to the event. She's all like, oh, you can talk to BB Films and then they can da 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 no, 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 no. You need a name tied to the event, a big name. And she was like, oh, I'm not going to tell you the big name, y'all, because the big name that's tied to the event is Jaguar Wright. There's no other big name tied to anything. That's a fucking lie. There is no other big name tied to any fucking event. That's a fucking lie. Jag is the big name. And like I said, how are people getting paid? Where's the money? Like, nobody, listen, nobody's going to agree to an event unless there's money on the table. If there's no fucking money tied to it, nobody's going to, no. It got to be serious. It got to be a real thing. It can't be no fake shit. Um, oh, damn, where am I? Um, hold on, y'all. I'm trying to. Okay.
Okay, I'm going to get ready to end it, but I'm going to go ahead and drop the link. <clears throat> no, she's not locked up. No, no, no. Thank you, Deshaun. Yeah. No, no, no. I didn't put that in the title, right? No, no, no. Okay. <sighs> uh, Toria, thank God she needs to be admitted. <laughs> no, I don't think Jag clicked the link. Jag literally came up to make her little statement and then bounce. You, you guys seen the way she bounced. That was whack. I was like, oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> Slow. Oh, my God. Y'all trying to get me in trouble. If she don't, then she will be in Monterey after she get out. Wait, like Monterey, like California Monterey? <laughs> Yo, that lady, <laughs> I'll give Jack credit for one thing. That lady knows how to crack me up. Here's Melanie. Hold on. What's up, Melanie? <laughs> Why are you trying to stop my shine? <laughs> <laughs> Why you ain't let me up here? Why you let me up here? To handle the, Why you let me up there to handle that light work? Them two fucking retards. Why you let me handle that light work? Well, I really wanted to hear what she had to say. They don't have nothing to say. She's soaking her cinnamon toast crunch ass in a pool. She's nasty. That board is gross. And that other one's an idiot. Her kids up this time of night. They're weirdos. They're unfit. Why your kids up? You know what? I did hear like babies in the background. Yeah, babies in the background. background. Why your kids up, you dummies? They all bunch of fucking dummies, yo. Weirdos. Get out of here with that. With them false names. Oh, I did. Court was last week and all that. No, honey, because you would have been online all day today trolling. Court was today, you fucking liar. Get out of here, you weirdo. You ain't let me get my leg back. I'm going to get you later. <laughs> <laughs> I speak for the people and yeah, okay, shut up because you a troll. And what that other Millie or whoever that was, you a troll because y'all was in Miss Cat Chat last night trolling. They both mm. a bunch of trolls. Those, those all, those that that's the blue man group. Those all the blue wrenches that they talk to to each other. That's the blue man group over there. Oh, that's who they are. Yeah, I call them the blue man group. I call them the blue man group. They talk to each other. They the, the same 12 in the chat, the same eight in the chat. They talk to each other. They're a bunch of weirdos. They're a bunch of liars. Avengers stand up. We good. They just mad. Y'all not gonna be online long because every time y'all come on and try to play people, y'all gonna get shut down. Period. And it don't even gotta be. And, and y'all can keep. Oh, you know she's false upon the center third. No, because y'all out here trying to attack people, and people gonna get their lick back. Nobody's scared of y'all. Did y'all know um, that is that too, Tori? Or are you just saying that? <laughs> she said that's all up. <laughs> I don't know how true that is. I don't, I don't know. I mean, the way she copied everything Jack said, she definitely. Oh, yeah, well, she's slow as all hell. She, I, she definitely drinking that Jack juice. I, I wouldn't be surprised if she was the next TJ. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I, I don't know. Like that was. She got I, like that was really like my first like real interaction with her, and I was just all like. Oh, you don't offer anything, huh? You literally just follow whatever she says. And the, like, first, I didn't even know why Ayasha needed to come up here. Like, I didn't know what she added to the conversation, but I was like, oh, and she felt because I didn't know if they were going to try to tag team me and start both yelling at me and stuff like that. I was. I was like, kind of like, okay, whatever, you know. That's why I dropped the link because I was like, okay, you're about to be outnumbered, but I didn't like all that, you know, I'm going to wait till Ayashi gets here to speak. Like, huh? What, yeah, like, but the thing was, she was speaking. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she said she was going to wait, and then I was like, but you're speaking right now, but all right, whatever. I, I told they stay the blue man group. They slow. They slow. <laughs> they slow. Ooh, they slow. Yeah, I was like, oh my God. And and again, I'm still I'm still confused. She's still she's still nasty. Either way you slice it, she's still gross. She's still gross and still has on them stupid shades and that blade haircut. She looks gross. <laughs> Nobody cares about you in the damn pool. You're gross, lady. 
You know, I did want to ask her about BB, uh, not BB films, uh, real life productions, because I wanted to know did she go begging and crawling back to them? She did. She did an interview with them. You didn't see it? No, I didn't watch it. Um, but I wanted to know like how they linked back because she was accusing them of taking, uh, taking money from her and all this other shit too. Right, right. But they um, the interviews on the members only side, so and I don't divulge those things. <laughs> oh, okay. It hasn't premiered yet. Okay, okay. I thought so. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, she um, she over there with them. She just, she just on a, uh, I guess a, a her whole little YouTube tour, seeing whoever bites and 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 uh, I guess pays or whatever, whatever. Right, right. She's a weirdo, but mm. anywho, you know I already got your back. But I was just saying, you could have, you could have hit, you could have dropped the link. <laughs> <laughs> I was okay. I, I, you know, I was fine. I wasn't gonna be really bad. I wasn't gonna be really bad. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow or another, it always gets bad on, on this channel. <laughs> right, it always does. <laughs> channel, I have no clue why, but she's a loser. Yeah, okay, you're a loser. Anybody who follows Jack is a loser. Ayasha, go spell translucent, you idiot. Uh, I just can't with these weirdos. <laughs> Shout out to everybody in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> shout yes, out. shout out to everybody in the chat. That's because they're a bunch of weirdos. Don't worry about it. I'll get my leg back. Ain't too fretting on me, but I'll get my <laughs> leg back. I don't want to <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, Auntie, so I'm going to talk to All right. <laughs> talk to you later. Yeah, I see y'all say Jag probably. Yeah, she probably still here. Unless somebody else is live, but yeah, she probably hanging out in the bushes. Oh, Uncle Charles here. What's up, Uncle Charles? How you doing? What's up, A2? What's happening, man? What's going on? Nothing much. You know, like always, I got to give you your sign. Let me go ahead and make sure that you're the star of the show. Hold on. There you go. Man, let me tell you something. You couldn't pay me to get in that goddamn water with Jag. I know it's the ass <laughs> trick in that water some goddamn well. Let me tell you. Let me, tell you let, me, let me explain something to you. Any two time, you smell like ass and turpentine. You you ain't no no more or ain't no more goddamn helping you no more. Jack, will make, <laughs> Jack, just I have heard of people dying of broken hearts, and it's true. Some people do die of broken heart, but then with Jack, you ain't gonna die with broken heart. You gonna die of her cause of her. Don't talk your ass deaf. See, when you talk somebody to death, when you said don't talk to me no more, I will jump from this building. Don't say another goddamn word, and I'll be a chocolate mess when I hit the ground. Let me tell you something. Jag will wear you down to your goddamn ankles. She'll. Ma I listened to her one night, and I didn't even know my goddamn phone number. Somebody had to tell me I, because she listened to that. I, I, it makes no sense. I wouldn't get in that goddamn water. She in if they paid my ass. We'll give you five hundred dollars. I still ain't gonna get in that damn water because what's gonna get on you? You ain't gonna be able to get the fuck off. I'm just tell you all. I'm. I need to tell about that deal. Jag need to go somewhere and sit down and stop talking. Stop talking. My cousin having cleaned inside his ears, what, in 15, 20 years? And he going to ask me why I can't hear all that goddamn dirt in your ears. That's why your ass can't. <laughs> but now they took his ass down there, got surgery down there, and now he can hear everything. He can hear a goddamn rat pissing on cotton from, from a mile away. And now he can hear. That's what Jag need to do. Go and go put a microphone in, in, in them lips and sing. Do that. I don't give that right. I don't even care. Just go sing and stop talking. That, 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 let me tell you something. I'm going to be up for a couple of while. You want to know why I can't sleep? I got them heard Jag. She won't stop fucking talking. And I'm sick of it. <laughs> I'm sick of it. I don't know where this is going or where this need to be. I'm going to say this in closing. Let me say you something. She up there talking about getting up to all this, the coop happening and all that. Let me, let me explain something to you. Somebody getting coop happy from you, they crazy. And that's what I want to tell your ass that they don't lost their goddamn mind. And that's all I got to say to So till next time, Claire, I'll talk to you later. I appreciate you, Uncle Charles. Thank you for coming up. <laughs> Yo, ladies and gentlemen, Uncle Charles, like he always come and bring the fire. He bring that heat each time. Oh, man. Oh, we have Trav. Let me let Trav up here. What's up, Trav? How you doing? I'm good. What's up with you? Nothing much. Go ahead, sound off. 
I agree with Uncle Charles. She do need to shut the fuck up. Like, she ain't ever got nothing to say. And y'all know she pissing and coming in that motherfucking pool. Wait, Who gonna clean that shit the fuck up? And coming. Who the fuck gonna clean that shit up? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, not in the pool. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. Oh, not in the pool. Well, that's what the hell she doing. I ain't gonna. I don't give a fuck. I show my motherfucking face. I don't give a fuck about no nigga, no bitch. I show my damn face. Y'all done seen me out here before. Who gonna clean that motherfucking shit up? Nobody, baby. No damn body. Like, put a bomb in the pool and just explode it because I. Yeah, I'm definitely not using that pool. You have to get one of them bombs from Gaza or Israel. The damn Israel or whatever the fuck you call it. The damn clean that motherfucking shit the fuck up. Or that boat that killed the damn Key Bridge in Baltimore, Maryland. That's what the fuck gonna kill that damn stain in that motherfucking pool. Oh my god. I'm just saying. So nobody's taking a swim in the pool? <laughs> yeah, no, no. That's me for being tame. Y'all already know how I am. Y'all know I'm crazy as a motherfucker. <laughs> North Carolina down. It's proud. Show sure enough. It is what it is. Shout out to North Carolina. Yeah. So what you been up to, bro? It's been a long time since I've been up here. Yeah, uh, nothing much. Shit, just uh, chilling with y'all, talking shit. Well, yeah, you had the shit talking tonight. That bitch. <laughs> it was a good show. It, it was. Mm, Even she with she Jag and mean. Ayasha coming up here, it was still a good show. Mm. I mean, they didn't offer much, like literally. That was uh -uh. a commercial break, really. Like they didn't offer nothing. And I y'all like don't know what the fuck long long infomercial because they literally just be on repeat. She gonna she gonna repeat everything. Jad will say I y'all her dumb ass gonna repeat everything. Girl, fuck you. I y'all da da ma da na da na da da. Fuck you, bitch. I'm not gonna fuck about you. Shit. She's not the star of the show. She's not. She trying, but she's not the star of the show. It ain't working. It's not working. It ain't working. I just want to come holler at you, bro, and like give the people a little bit good comedy. But I'm off. I'm just off. Uh, I just want to give a little bit of fire and uh, just say what's up. I miss you, man. I ain't been on here in a little while. Yeah, thank you, Trap, for coming up. I appreciate you. No problem. I'm going to be back up soon, and then I'm going to stay a little while next time. Okay. <laughs> All, right. All right, Trap. Thank you. Oh, man. Yeah, Trav is one of the original ones that have been following me for a while, so it's always good seeing him. Oh, man. Y'all crack me up. All right. Well, it's been a good night, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the hell up out of here. Uh, Jag, if you're in the chat, like I said, take that plea deal. I, I know you got on here talking about how you have all the evidence and shit like that. Listen, nobody believes it. Your lawyer doesn't believe it. No one believes it. I know Ayasha is backing you up, but she too chips short from a cookie. She has no brain at all. Please don't believe that you're going to be able to win this case, fight this case. You definitely need to take that plea deal. And I'm hoping the best for you. Also, for your boxing match, you need to tie a large name to it. You and Kimmy are not going to be able to sell out no tickets. You guys aren't going to sell out any tickets. Like, that's crazy to me that you think you're going to sell out any tickets on this shit. Like, nobody cares. I promise you. No one cares at all. You are literally going to need to tie a big name to that whole event. And that's not, not no disrespect to Kimmy. Like, I'm saying, if y'all trying to make money and shit like that, y'all need to tie a name to it. You cannot have an event like that and not tie a name to it. It ain't going to work. That's just business. But, of course, Jack, you don't know anything about business. You literally have no business. Uh, any business that you, quote, unquote, have, you run it to the ground, like, literally. Like, ay, 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 ay. I just don't know. But anyway, y'all, we're going to go ahead and get the hell up out of here. Remember, this is the backup channel, so we can be messy. Uh, we can be everything that we want to be. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all, but we out. Deuces, y'all. Red label, red label. Okay.
Here we go. Okay, Red Label, where you at? Where is uh, all the people that wanted to see Eric? Here he is. So Red Label, come on. He's waiting for you. You your, your name says Red Label waiting on Eric. So here he is. So pop up, roll up, do whatever it is you're going to do to Eric since you're waiting on him. He's sitting right here waiting on you. What you got on your chat, on your on your uh, comments, you said you was going to pew, pew, pew him if he showed up in Minnesota. So he didn't get to Minnesota. So what you got? <laughs> 